We're Trent and Allie, and things are flying. By the end of the day, we're just gonna move in. It's gonna be great. Painting is a huge transformation. I feel like a gangster from the 90s. Really, because you look like one of the Ghostbusters. Uh, that too. <laughs> Even though everything else we need is in short supply. The trim is just gonna be a little bit more intense than we were anticipating, but. By that's intense, fine. you mean expensive? We are rolling with the punches. We're playing uh, merry go round firewood one last time. And enjoying this adventure. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> morning guys I feel like we've officially turned a corner it feels like fall out here it's absolutely stunning the rain that we've been having for the past few days finally stopped and it's bright and sunny but cold and crisp it's only 50 degrees this morning and we're feeling extremely productive what are you doing what are you doing let's go okay go at it today knocking out our saloon wall our uh, whiskey drinking aged wood wall here in our sunroom I think it's really gonna change the vibe in here you can already see over there it looks very different yeah and when the Sun is coming in and it's like beaming onto the wood or when the wood is out here in the Sun it actually looks really cool so the problem is that this wall and the ceiling in the house will probably never have Sun on it so <laughs> Maybe we made a mistake, but... We'll have some beautiful lights on it. I'm, uh, I'm liking the way that it's turning out. So we're going to knock this out. And then we're actually going over to our special friend Tim's house. We're going to pick up his trailer. I would say one last time, but I'm going to say another time because I'm <laughs> sure we'll need it more in the future. we got drywall scraps and all types of garbage and leftover stuff from the roof. And everything needs to go in the trailer and go to the dump because we need to have space to work in here. While we're doing that, Bryce is gonna be touching up the drywall in this room. He's Ooh. pretty much done everything in the house. It's like almost ready for paint. Wow. So while I'm doing this, he's gonna be touching up in here. Before we know it, we'll be ready to paint. Actually. Don't pay attention to all the cracks. There's going to be a lot of trim. Oh yeah, obviously. But uh, looks good. Yeah, we're going to stain some more boards. Once they dry, we'll install them here. Okay. Then we basically just got to mask off the wall that we just installed, and uh, mask off the windows and the door, and prime and paint. We could paint this room today. Install the lights and the fans and the smoke detector, and we're ready to go. And we'll just have concrete floor. <laughs> Gotta do some floor too. <laughs> Maybe we'll just leave this concrete and we'll just like stain it or paint it or seal it. Because this is a mud room, so like 
where you bring the icky, nasty boots and all kinds of stuff and just leave them in here. Yeah, we're not gonna do that, but we'll let him think that that's okay. Just trying to cut corners. I know. <laughs> just trying to get this over with. <laughs> All right, well, we are going to our friend Tim's house to grab the dump trailer one more time. Tim is literally like our savior during this build for helping us out with the dump trailer all the time. He's an absolute saint. We're gonna go hang out with him and his wife for a minute. Brandon is gonna stay behind and stain some more boards and hopefully start organizing our front yard a little bit because we do have some more excavation that's gonna be taking place next week. So trying to get everything in order. Bryce is gonna be taken off for the day. His help was actually tremendous as well, but. Anyway, we're gonna go get the trailer now. There's our house all the way over there. Cool, huh? trailer made it back fine in one piece and we've gotten it most of the way up the driveway. It's super muddy so that makes everything have way less traction and just be kind of a nightmare in general. You can see the tires on the trailer are just already caked with mud. We're cleaning everything out. We're making uh, a huge pile on the deck to send to the dump. <sighs> Bryce is basically done with drywall which is incredible. Trent and Brandon are finishing installing the uh, the sunroom wall and we're just kind of just like cleaning everything else up and trying to get as much trash out of here as possible because every time we do a dump run, we come back and we're like, oh, that should have been in the pile also. That should have also gone to the dump. So we've got a bunch of stuff out in the front that needs to get cleaned up. Spirits are high. It's turning into a very productive day. Do you love doing this in the mud? It's twice as hard. Ugh. It's the okay. workout you never knew you needed. I always need it. We're playing uh, merry-go-round firewood one last time. And basically we did our uh, little rain screen that goes underneath the deck so that underneath the deck doesn't get wet. Well, where the wood is sitting right now is not in that space. It's out where everything gets wet. So in fact, all the water from the roof and from the deck has been channeled right on top of the firewood, which is really bad for the firewood. But next week we have someone coming and they're gonna be regrading this whole area here along the back and the side of the house, fixing this slope over here and maybe building a little path for us. <sighs> Just some dirt work that I was going to do myself, but I'm quickly running out of time. So I'm not gonna be able to do it myself. We're bringing a guy in to do it. Basically all this stuff has to move in order for them to get this all taken care of. So we're gonna be moving the firewood, hopefully all the way against the wall where it will stay dry and hopefully we don't get any trouble. I know a lot of people have said like, don't stack firewood against your house or under your deck cause it could catch on fire, but we don't really have anywhere else to put it where it's gonna stay dry and be usable this winter. So we're gonna put it in there. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. Oh, the good times just begun. Oh, um, we know what we have. Let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Look at all that space. Call us crazy, but things are finally right. Definitely animals living in that. One with the mud, not the drywall mud. <laughs> yeah. All right. How's that look? <laughs> Full. Looks pretty dang cool. <laughs> We're connected and stable. We are connected and stable. And right. I 
and exhausted. I know. Not only did we work for like 12 plus hours for the past two days, but today we just did a lot of like manual labor, basically. Just moving and stacking the wood, getting all the garbage, filling this up. And we built half the wall in the sunroom. We're yeah. just crushing it. We're crushing it lately. And tomorrow, hopefully we can finish the wall in the sunroom, do some other productive things. And I'm hoping that John is going to show up and be ready to do some dirt work. So we got a lot of dirt work to be done. We'll see you guys tomorrow. I found my heart, I found my heart again. You were standing there, you bravely led me in. Hey guys, I wanted to jump in here really quick and let you guys know that I am Trent from the future. I know I probably look a little different with my beard, my hair, and if you haven't noticed already, the wall behind me is completely painted. And we used Benjamin Moore paints, and today's video is sponsored by Benjamin Moore. Benjamin Moore has over 3,500 unmatched colors, more than any other paint company, all available to try out on their app. Made for homeowners and contractors alike, their paint goes on smoothly, doesn't splatter, and covers well with a rich, even finish. Its unbeatable value and high quality makes it the best choice for all our painting needs. So we actually went with Benjamin Moore's Regal Select Matte Finish, and we did it in a white dove color, and it is absolutely incredible. If you guys don't know very much about Benjamin Moore, let me just tell you this, their colors cannot be matched. Benjamin Moore is the king of paints, and that's why we use them in our house. They have an unbeatable value, and they have the highest quality paint available. If you guys are interested in checking out Benjamin Moore, click the link in our description. You guys can pick up paint samples or paint from their e-store. Thanks again to Benjamin Moore for sponsoring today's video. Now, I'm about to send you guys back to the past before any of these walls were ever even painted. Enjoy the rest of the video. What's up guys? Good morning. We are ready to get after it. It is another day of making a lot of progress and getting ready to build. I think today we're actually going to finish putting up all of the tongue groove in the sunroom. And then I'm hoping if we have enough time, we're going to go to BMC, we're going to buy a bunch of trim, and then hopefully be able to trim out the sunroom. Once that's done, and I think we'll actually pick up some paint today too. So once that's actually done, we can paint the whole sunroom. We can prime and paint both bathrooms and then we'll do like tile work and fixtures and those three rooms will be done and then we just have to do floors and ceiling in the main house and trim. It's not that much. It's really not that much. Once the countertops are in, I'll be able to throw in like the sink and, and stuff like that. And uh, I think our fridge will probably get transported up here pretty soon. I'm not gonna lie, for the last little while, I just haven't really been able to see the light at the end of the tunnel <laughs> and like I've been so discouraged but I feel like now that drywall is like basically done and we can start moving on to paint and like do these other projects and things that are making huge amounts of progress I'm really excited and like I'm I'm really excited to be to be building <laughs> so well, I'm gonna head inside Brandon just got here we're gonna get to work See ya. <laughs> Good morning, guys. So this weekend, we actually never stopped working. We didn't film it, but we got so much done. Trent's right, we have this like intensely renewed motivation and excitement to finish the whole build. I think it's because drywall took so long that now everything else we do in comparison feels like, wow, this is flying. We're making so much progress. Everything is so fast. And also it's like all transformative, finish carpentry basically. So everything we do really transforms the space and makes it feel more and more like a home. They're almost done with the wall in the sunroom. And this weekend we actually bought some really fun new stuff. That's gonna make a huge difference. Look at this. We got all of the flooring for the entire sunroom. We got all of the tile for, what is this? The main floor bathroom. We got insulation for under the flooring in the sunroom. We even got a plank cutter for installing wood boards perfectly in each room. I'm hoping this week we can actually start installing these pieces because once the floors are in, it's like, 
Even if we don't get certificate of occupancy, we can make this place livable, at least for the winter. It's pretty exciting. <laughs> All right, you guys, we've had some reservations about how this wall was gonna end up looking because it looked a little different in our minds, but now that it's done, I love it. I absolutely love it. I think if we had done this to the ceiling and stained the ceiling, it would definitely look smaller and more enclosed, whereas doing it on the wall, I mean, maybe it shows how narrow the room is, but it still feels really tall because it's on the gable end wall or it's on the, this like taller wall. I'm excited. We did some furniture shopping this weekend. We started taking measurements and mapping out what's gonna go in here. We've got the flooring. Today we're gonna to case out the windows. <sighs> Once we paint and do all those things, this room is done. Since we have exterior insulation with the thermal buck, it pushes our windows out really far. So like our window sills, in order to be flush, mm -hmm. right here need to be like seven and a quarter. Okay. Normally that gap is like half that. So trim is just going to be a little bit more intense than we were anticipating, but By intense, fine. you mean expensive? No. It's the same effort. The it's price just... is nominal. It's really the effort and the time that is like the problem for me. But it's already like pre... pre... It's pre nothing. It's just MDF. It's not even real wood. Oh. It's just like a flat square piece of... <laughs> I don't know what it's made of. So it needs to be sanded or not? Or are, we gonna, are we gonna sand it? No. Paintable no. and stainable. Yeah. Stainable and stainable. Also, Brandon is trying to make us all fat and brought pumpkin chocolate chip cookies, it's Trent. It's actually sunny. It's not it's, <laughs> thank you, Sunny. <laughs> Thanks, babe. <laughs> all right, so we've measured all the rough openings for doors that we need to have custom made. We can't just buy slabs. That's how doors get done. Or, so. or just our just... openings are like weird enough that they require custom doors to be made. Um, but BMC has all that. And now we're just finishing up getting all the measurements for the trim that we need. We're gonna go pick that up at BMC. And then, uh, you know, by the end of the day, we're just gonna move in. It's gonna be great. Well, I'm just measuring these so that when we go to BMC, we can get our interior doors ordered in case it's gonna take a long time. I'm sure it's gonna take a long time. So this is 30. And like 11 sixteenths, but this is gonna get like at least an inch of trim over here. Looks like the lumber shortage is over. Wow. Oh my gosh, look at all that wood. Wow. We like have only seen this place when the lot was like empty and we just thought that was normal, but I think that's because there was a lumber shortage. And now there's not a lumber shortage and the prices are the same. It's crazy. <laughs> white doors? White white trim and then knotty alder colored wood doors. We have a door that's probably very <laughs> Well, it's been a great day at BMC. Just got educated a little bit on doors and the shortage <laughs> of the doors that we wanted. Of so course. we're getting uh, different doors <laughs> and we got some trim. Oh, wait. Oh, we need to go get the trim. trim. <laughs> but they had we're it. Not, we're not done yet. We thought we were done. We still got to get trim. But uh, we also got our decking ordered for the stairs. We're making a lot of progress. All right, so to say the least, we're having some trouble with the lumber. <laughs> Big surprise. Uh, BMC, all these other different lumber yards are completely out of MDF in 1x8 or 1x12. And these guys basically called someone down the street who his builder's first choice or first builders something. First choice. Builder's first. And uh, 
they have actually been acquired by BMC recently, so they're like the same company now, and they're in a, a town just right down the street, so they've got some 1x12 oh, MDF. Wow. And we're gonna run down there and buy everything they got because <laughs> we know it's in short supply, and we don't wanna run out, and we got a lot of windows to trim out, so here we go. could get by without doing this, like order this stuff and have it delivered to the house. Unfortunately, we are working on a schedule and we don't have time. And there's also a shortage. And there's a shortage. Imagine that. Oh. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Right. Allie's mad at me because we showed up here to the lumber yard and she had to go to the bathroom and the guy said just go out and get the MDF and start cutting it and stacking it and I was like all right well we've got no time to waste and so I come out here and start stacking it and now Allie's a little upset with me because I left her inside the lumber yard when she went to the bathroom. I just walked around for 20 minutes. Well that's fine you could have sat no here for 20 minutes or walked around and I know you prefer the exercise. <laughs> <laughs> We made it back. We've unloaded everything that we picked up. Trent got me a Starbucks, so I'm less mad at him now. And we're taping off the bathroom to what, prime? Are we ready to prime? Yeah, we're gonna prime and prime to paint this today. How do you think the walls turned out in here? Pretty good, I need some wet rags though. You wanna okay. give me some wet rags? Do we have a sponge? Wipe them really quick. Huh? Do we have sponges? Uh, a little bit. Doesn't that work better? No, I think wet rags are better. Sponge is like, people use a sponge for sanding. Yeah. We don't want to take any material away. We just want to damp cloths, get all the dust off the walls. Just blow on it. Yeah. It works pretty good, but not as good as a wet rag. <laughs> we have to paint the ceiling though, no? We're going to tile the ceiling. Oh. Interesting. That'll be fun. We're just creating a Dexter room. Yeah, that's exactly what this is. <laughs> I watched Dexter enough, I know how to do this. No blood spatter. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna try to finish masking off the bathroom. We're gonna prime the whole bathroom. While that's drying, we're gonna do stuff in the sunroom with the window casing and the window trim. Then when that's done, we're gonna come back and hopefully today, we're gonna paint the bathroom. Got some major alfalfa going on right now. I do? Yeah. That's okay. <laughs> Could not be more excited to get my hazmat suit back on and oh, yeah. sweat to death in here for an hour. Dexter meets Breaking Bad. Yeah. <laughs> it's a uh, collaboration between two great series. <laughs> How do I look? You know. If I pull it back a little bit, get some frosted tips. I feel like a gangster from the 90s. Like super baggy clothes and like. Really? Because you look like one of the Ghostbusters. Uh, that too. I'm a gangster <laughs> Ghostbuster from the 90s. I'm going to take the dogs with me and you are going to prime the entire sun sunroom. Bathroom. Yeah, not the sunroom yet. And uh... unfortunately, we don't get to take you guys with us because it's such a small confined space. The camera will get painted. Hopefully I can do it quick and we'll show you guys the aftermath. While Trent is in there priming, Brandon is in here taking out the drywall from all of the windows and the door that we're gonna replace with this new stuff. A little bit more durable, a little bit easier to trim out and it'll look really nice and crisp. All 
All right, so I got a couple coats of primer in the bathroom in here. I did the walls, I did the ceiling, everything excluding the shower because it's gonna get like a waterproof membrane and then tile all the way around. When we talked to John Scott when he was here helping us with the countertops, he was like, well, once you put your glass doors on here, he's like, your shower is basically gonna be a steamer. And I was like, yes! <laughs> and then he was like, so you definitely have to do tile on the ceiling or it's gonna like destroy the drywall. So. Now we're gonna be doing tile all the way around and it's gonna be a steamer on top of the hey. shower, which is actually really cool. Bonus. So I got this primer on here and now I'm actually ready to paint the ceiling. This is just about dry. The ceiling is actually like definitely dry, but some of the walls are wet, so I think I'm ready to go. I just gotta clear all the primer out of the lines of the sprayer and then uh, load up the paint, get in there. Unfortunately, you guys are not really gonna get to see it because this is probably where we're gonna call it a day as far as this video goes, because you can't see in there until it's dry anyway, so. But we know it's gonna look amazing and we can't wait to share it with you. So we apologize for that. But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you show us by giving us a big thumbs up on today's video. Consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. Thanks again to Benjamin Moore for sponsoring today's video. Click the link in our description to check them out. And we'll see you guys on the next Adios. one. Adios!